All right, Pitman Matt Moore, Kalen of Varsity here with our first quarter edition of the CMS Best to Last. Uh, in the past, we've typically done this with um, all the teams in the uh, Southwest, the IMAC, and South Mac 7 conferences, but we're focusing on CMS teams uh, this year. So these are going to be the 19 CMS high schools that play in these three conferences. So we're going to rank them from uh, – Best to last, we always start uh, from last and then work our way to the best. So, uh, number 19 are the Harding Rams. Number 18, the South Mecklenburg Sabres. 17, the Hopewell Titans. 16, Philip O'Berry Cardinals. 15, Olympic Trojans. 14, the Garander Wildcats. 13, East Mecklenburg Eagles. 12, the Archer Kale Knights. And number 11, the West Charlotte Lions. And just a little summation on 19 through 11. Um, the biggest surprises so far this season out of this group, obviously Garinger uh, getting the win over Harding. And then last week being competitive with West Mech, uh, losing 43 to 20. Uh, so you see the progress that Garinger is showing uh, within its program. Um, West Charlotte off to a 2 and one start as well. Um, stands out among... Uh, this group of teams and even throughout some of the other teams Hopewell has shown you know good improvement um, you know throughout the season from where they were last year uh, Barry I think has been competitive so far also a um, couple of close losses uh, relatively speaking to Rocky River and East Mech um, East Mech I think has shown incremental improvement as the season has gone along from when I first saw them in the Jamboree to uh, last week when they put up 48 in defeating Barry um, so those are my thoughts on teams 19 through 11. So now we're going to look at the top 10. Uh, coming in at number 10 is in the uh, Independence Patriots. Off to a, a good start at 2-0. and um, They defeated Hopewell. And then uh, last week they defeated Olympic after having a bye in week one. So obviously playing still with heavier hearts for uh, Divine Flash Simpson. Uh, but they're playing well. And um, the passing game is really, really um, – doing well at independent so far uh, number nine rocky river uh they defeated south iredale in a uh, week one and then in week two they defeated barry but then last week they had a, a, a tough game against vance but still the two and one record still in a good spot uh this week is a big game against north mech uh number eight providence uh providence had a big win over east mech in week one uh but then they lost to huff um, on the road in uh, week two. Then another tough loss against Myers Park in week three. But, you know, playing, you know, those two teams, those are two of the, the top five teams, not only in the area, but in the state, in my opinion. Um, there's no shame in losing those games. I still think they're a well coached team that um, is going to make some noise before um, the season ends this year. Uh, number seven is North Mech. Um, they went on the road, defeated uh, Durham Jordan. Uh, earlier this year, uh, they defeated Olympic, um, and now they've got a, a big game against Rocky River uh, this week on the road, and that's actually the Patriotism Bowl, and when we get to our previews, we'll talk more about that. Uh, but they're off to a good start this year. Uh, number six is West Mech. Um, had a close loss to Vance uh, week one, and then they bounced back pretty well, uh, defeating West Charlotte and then Garinger. Um, they're getting healthy, and, you know, I've said it, you know, probably since the preseason, once these guys are healthy, they're going to be tough to stop. And um, they're starting to show that, um, especially on the offensive side of the football. All right, our top five. Number five is Vance. Uh, Vance has been playing really well, and, um, as, as they always do. They get better as the season goes along. Uh, most impressive win over Rocky River last week. Um, as Coach Brand likes to talk about the premium gas, it looks like the premium gas is starting to load up, and they're um, getting that engine going up there off IBM Drive. Number four, Myers Park Mustangs, and they have just um, blew through um, whoever that has been on their schedule so far. And, um, you know, you can make some arguments for Myers Park even being higher here, but I think these top four teams are just really, really good. And um, it's going to be a while before it bears out of who is really where right now. But I think, you know, all these teams, you know, have the capabilities of beating each other on any given night. Uh, number three are the Huff Huskies, of course. Um, you know, they've blown through everyone uh, just like Myers Park has so far. 
Um, big win over Concord last week on the road. So, um, like I said, challenges are coming down the road for for these guys, and um, you know it'll be interesting to see how those challenges, um, you know, kind of bear out as when they happen. Uh, number two is Butler. Um, you know, they're, they're I know they have a loss to Mallard Creek, but I thought even in that loss, they they were impressive after coming back from being down. 29 to two, making that a real competitive game where they had a chance to tie it up, you know, at the end and send it to overtime. Um, obviously, they got a big test this week going up against Richmond Senior, um, but you know, they I think they've proven their medal there. You know, obviously, right there as one of the top teams, not only in the area but in the state. And then number one, of course, is Mallard Creek. Uh, you can just see their physicality. You see their athletic ability. Um, I think the biggest difference between this team and then other teams is the uh, playmaking ability and the ability to have big plays on offense. And, um, you know, I think you're going to continue to see that bear out. They had a bye uh, this week, well, this past week, and now they're getting ready to play Barry uh, this week. And uh, that will be their home opener. So. That is the first quarter edition of the CMS Best of Last. Uh, we'll do this after every three weeks. So uh, right before conference play or right at the start of conference play, we'll have the second quarter edition of the Best of Last. And, um, you know, if you differ on your opinion, just feel free to let me know. All right, guys, we appreciate it. Thanks.